An unprecedented crowd of people from different backgrounds wearing black attire took over the premises of the Benin airport to witness the arrival of the body of a man they all loved while alive. Various groups, including cultural troops, kept the airport warm for hours as they sang and danced while awaiting the arrival of the body of late Captain Osa Wells Okumbo. <laughs> The private aircraft conveying the body of the renowned business mongol and philanthropist which arrived from Abuja finally touched down at about 12 noon. Thereafter, a long convoy accompanied the body from the airport to his residence amidst a crowd of onlookers. The situation created traffic gridlock on airport road for several hours. At the residence of the deceased, the crowd wore mournful look as the body was driven in. Some friends of the deceased said the vacuum the philanthropist left behind would be difficult to fill. Well, Captain Osa has lived very well. He was a good man. He was a giver. He's a man. The man was a good man and he impacted so many people's life, including me, myself. Captain was the big brother. When you say D, that means it's second to none, one and only. Also, it's, uh, for me, it's a friend and a brother, someone uh, who did good to me even before I ever met him in my life. In a scale of one to 10 of the best men, I read Capi one. It's not because he's passed, but that was why he was. He was a father to all, to so many, a good in-law to so many. My father is one of those. In short, I'm short of words. He has affected life all over the whole world. And we all will we mourn him for a very long time. I knew him when he was uh, a pilot. He flew for he flew aero contractors at Continental Okada. I remember with nostalgia when I used to sit behind him in the cockpit and it was a delight to hear him communicate with the towers. The funeral ceremonies of Captain Osa Wells Okumbo continues. Pius Nsogo reporting.